Got a pic that's almost there, but it's just missing a little something. Let me show you three edits to transform your photos using Adobe Photoshop. If you're looking for ways to create images that stand out using Adobe Photoshop, this is for you. I'm opening Photoshop and pulling up the first image that needs to be edited. Let's start by adding life into the eyes, which can really make a portrait pop. First, we'll use the dodge tool to brighten up the whites of the eyes. This little trick goes a long way. Choose the dodge tool and make a few soft strokes on the eyes. Keep it subtle, just enough to lift them but not so much that they look unnatural. Now, to really bring out the irises, switch to the saturation tool. Just brush over the iris and watch as they get that extra vibrancy and life brought back to them. Now we've gone from dull eyes to a captivating look. All right, let's move on to the outfit. A clean, polished look makes a huge difference, especially with wrinkles or small imperfections. We'll use the remove tool here. Using the remove tool, I'm focusing on the jeans in this photo, brushing over any wrinkles or unwanted textures. Photoshop automatically smooths them out, making everything look sharp and fresh, like giving your clothes a virtual scene. To add more vibrancy to the clothes, I'm going to get a brush and I'm going to use the saturation tool. I'm gonna to brush this over the clothes and bring them up and make them pop more. Finally, let's bring focus back to the subject by softening the background. A busy background can be distracting, so we'll use a bit of blur to create some separation. Select the background, go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur, and adjust to the level to soften just enough. This keeps the attention on your subject and makes the image feel more balanced. I'm once again pulling out the dodge tool to brighten the background and fix some of the shadows. I feel like it makes the light more even overall. That's photo one complete. Here's the before and after. Enhanced eyes, brighter clothes with less distractions, and a brighter, slightly blurred background to create more depth within the photo. Let's move on to the next photo to edit. For the second edit, we're going to enhance the eyes just like we did before plus enhance her blush to give a natural glow. Using the dodge tool, brighten up the whites of the eyes and then add a bit of saturation on the irises for that vivid color. Switch to the brush tool and grab the saturation tool. Lightly apply it along the cheeks for a gentle blush and that fresh, healthy look. Flyaway hairs can be super distracting but the remove tool makes it easy. Brush over any stray hairs around the face and Photoshop cleans them up instantly. This gives your portrait a polished look without any fuss. To finish, let's add extra drama to the background. First, I'll use generative fill to remove the door on the left. I select the door with the lasso tool, hit generate, and it takes it out that quickly. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer and remove the background to keep things clean. To make the background pop, I'm using the dodge tool to brighten up certain areas, like the top of the image and make it all feel more even. In the background, I'm going to use this red sign for two different things. First, I'm just gonna grab a brush and use the hue tool to make the red match more of the beanie. My color grading turned the red a little orangey, so we're just gonna bring it back to that natural red color. After that, I grabbed the brush tool again and selected a red color, turned down the opacity, and I'm adding a soft red gradient behind her, making it appear that the light is brighter than it really is. It adds a mood and a depth to the background that I just love. I think I'm also going to remove the lighter display on the right because it weighs down the photo on the right side. So select it all with the lasso tool and hit generate. Gone, easy, peasy, squeezy, all the things. Now that I think I have this edit where I want, I wanna add some grain to give it that nostalgic feel. So I'm going up to filter, down to noise, and add noise. Here you can select the amount of grain you want to make it look just right for your image. And complete. Here's your final before and after of the second photo. Love the way this looks, I am obsessed. And that's it. That's three quick, powerful edits to take any photo from okay to like, wow. Whether you're brightening eyes, enhancing colors, or cleaning up the background, these easy steps can make a big impact. Go ahead and try these tricks yourself. Download Photoshop and start transforming your photos today.